to go. I'm uh, Glenn, I'm a coach in triathlon. Um, I work for the Belgian Federation, but I recently moved to Girona, where we're building like an international squad with triathletes. Um, we had some rough days the past day, so three big days. Today we have an easy swim, um, a short warm up with some technique, and afterwards we have like six times 200, six times 150, six times 100, with always a short part of easy builds and easy cruise where we address the fast twitch muscles and afterwards some basic endurance. So uh, quite an easy session today to get the body going. Afterwards we hit the gym and uh, an easy jog or an easy bite for the guys. So we're ready for the weekend again. Just uh, uh, do six times 50, the medley twitch, yeah, relax. The last one is choice. And then you're ready for the second of the day. Okay. If you want to split up the, the butterfly into two strokes per arm, you can always do that in the second 25. Zeker niet als ik mijn camera op mijn zicht staan. Wat? Zeker niet als ik mijn camera op mijn zicht staan. Zie je dat wel weer? Oké. Oké, hè? Niet erg. Ja. Niet te veel of niet? Wat is het nou? 6 x 50? Ja. Medley switch. Dus je altijd start, je kunt het zoveel eindigen in de tweede 25. De laatste, de laatste van Jonas, je kunt het zoveel eindigen.
got him today. He's going to love that part. When you set these swim sessions, are you setting a pace or is it more of an effort? Do you have like time targets in mind when you start? No, we actually do almost in the swim, everything on effort. Yeah. Sometimes we do like the start times. For if I say that I do 200, yeah, we leave on uh, 245, for example. So it's like, it really depends on uh, the day, but I always want them to link like their RPE. If we do a solid session, I'm not going to tell them you have to do your 100 in 105 or 106. If I feel good, they go a bit faster. If they feel have a bad day, I want them to do the same effort as I would be doing on a good day. So, uh, yeah. no, not really. You can tell us that on camera. What's your favorite Slide Leap video? Oh, uh, oh. yeah, Julian Windows. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm a big fan of it. Yeah. So. Sure, you <laughs> Actually, we're doing a lot of intensity control for the moment. So we really know for each session that we're doing what we want to do for the session. So if Martin is doing threshold, for example, now, we want to be around 2.5 to max 3 millimole. And we build it up in a session and see how he feels and we link it with a power meter as well. So we know when he goes alone for a session, he also knows at what power he should be or what pace. Because it can be tricky of course, sometimes a little bit uphill, downhill. And I really want to link their feeling RPE with what they are doing. So they can also do the session without the lactate meter. But we always, uh, when I'm around, we try to measure lactate to see yeah, exactly what they're doing for the session. I like, between like running, swimming and cycling, are the lactate numbers you're looking for the same for threshold, or is there a variation there across the distance? There is some variation, yeah, across the discipline. So uh, it all depends a bit on the individual. Yeah. And we also see inter-individually, like between individuals, there's a lot of variation as well. Yeah. Like some guys are doing threshold work around four millimole. Some it's like even below three millimole. So it's like uh, quite different for everyone and also between disciplines. Yeah. Get ready. How was the uh, session this morning then? Success. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. It was not super hard. A couple of uh, built fifties uh, in there, but uh, most of it was kind of cruisy. So yeah, it was good after a couple of hard swims uh, in the rest of it. Uh, how is the body feeling at the moment? Are you coming off quite a big block of training? Yeah, I think I, I honestly had the biggest block I've had in my life. So uh, yeah, it's pretty good to still feel kind of good. And I think on Sunday probably my last uh, big session because I'm gonna do 70.3 Dubai which is in about two weeks now so uh, yeah the hard work is almost done just have to survive one more weekend so yeah now it's time for you're doing a quick run and then into the gym is it yeah yeah that's now uh, what's on the program and then afternoon off legs up nice <laughs> So Martin, what's first on the uh, gym program this morning? Let's see, I, I, I always forget. Uh, <laughs> I'm really bad at remembering. I'm testing you now. And it looks like I've never, never done my schedule, huh? but um, uh, just a little bit of stretching, a bit, bit of foam rolling, a bit of mobility, um, and some really light exercises. And then I'll go for a little warm up job. And then uh, come back for the, the real work, which is still very soft for me. It's more of a core and a prehab workout.
So, want to know as a triathlete, what's your favorite training session of the week or your favorite day of the week? <laughs> For sure, not the gym day. <laughs> For my favorite session, it's it's the long rides usually. Uh, like, I love my Sunday. Sunday is usually the long ride day. Uh, and also we only have two sessions on that day, which for a triathlete, two sessions is like a, a holiday. So uh, yeah, mo I, I love my Sunday. And then Saturday, the long run, I, I like it as well. I learned to appreciate it more and more uh, with the years. And how far do you normally go in the long ride? It's four to five hours. So it's not like crazy long, um, but especially like now that we're further in the buildup, we try to put some quality in it as well. Uh, like this Sunday, I have to do four times 25 minutes tempo in it. So, yeah, and then it gets it gets more than hard enough already. And our distance is pretty short compared to those sessions. So, uh, I don't think we need to go any longer than uh, four or five hours. Are you doing that on the time trial bike at the moment or on the road bike? Uh, at the moment, it's on the on the time trial bike. Um, yeah, because it asks a lot of different muscles and getting used to a different position um, and yeah as my first race is going to be on the time trial bike uh, it's uh, yeah, it's time now to 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 try it out and uh, get better at it which is your first race uh, 70.3 in Dubai which okay. is two weeks it's very yeah, close two weeks so yeah it's, it's it's getting really close uh, there's some some big names that apparently signed up so uh, it's gonna be important that I get used to the position completely, but it, it's feeling really good right now. I think I have a pretty good position and I can hold it uh, for, for a long time, so yeah. Have you done any uh, like wind tunnel testing or anything like that? No, no, we, we didn't do that actually kind of on, on purpose because um, I'm only just now, I, I'm, I'm being sponsored by Trek Global and I only received my bike like one month ago and it was all a little bit too too short to really find that out, um, like the wind tunnel testing or velodrome testing. So we just got a good bike fit and a position that I feel comfortable with. And yeah, now it's one of the goals towards the future to get some more knowledge and do a wind tunnel testing, uh, go to the velodrome and kind of, yeah, develop that position in the, the coming years. But I actually think uh, I have a, a really good position already now, so I'm, I'm really happy with that. Yeah. If you want to see actually lifting weights, you have to be with your yeah, yeah. big weights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold, the Arnold of the triathlon. <laughs> big guns. Start with the... Uh, this one, five, six, seven, eight, and then we'll see what we do. Uh, we'll look at it. So, do you just have most of the guys go through like a kind of activation warm up with? Resistance? Yeah, first of it, they do like a dynamic mobility with some neural stretch and like just uh, to get the body going. Most of the time, they come from the swim where they do an easy jog before the strength work, and so the body is already a bit activated start with mobility and then there's like a difference in the program so much more like pure core stability and others got real strength sessions so it uh, depends a bit on the volume they're doing periodization type of athlete so uh, there's a bit of difference individually for example Martin is doing uh, more like body maintenance work a fractured elbow um, in October I think some stuff to focus on that to get the strength back in the arm and more like little biomechanical things that we see in his run where you want to focus on, try to improve in the gym so it becomes easier in the run, but no heavy weights for Martin. And some of the other guys are really doing maximal strength in this period, so it's a big difference in the gym. Uh, 
I'll do one more. I need to ask the uh, viewers of Smart Elite who does the better clean. Who does the better clean? I uh, definitely not they have, to, they have to comment on the name. But he's been doing it like for four years. And yeah, but then I'll add some plates to it. I like I can I can do more than this. But I had to pushing. Do, I always want I to had to do easy weight. on the weights today, so I'm taking the same as Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dries really likes to clean it always. Measuring the speed with the push device to see that she's doing what he has to do in the set. So it's all a bit on the high side, he's doing maximal strength normally. So it has to be between 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 meters per second. Um, taking it a bit easy today because he just came back from Fuerteventura, had his booster. So just building up the weight to make sure uh, he does it technically correct and still in the zone that we want to have it. So. Normally increase weight each um, Normally, the first one you warm up till fourth, like five kilos more every time. Yeah. Depends on the speed also. Like if the speed's too high, you go up. If the speed's good, uh, you keep the weight, or yeah. in worst case, you go down. Welcome back to join the master of the gym. <laughs> yes, here we are. How was the run? Oh, super nice. Eh? It's a, a really nice day today. What pace did you run? Uh, easy 4.30 I think I had. I'm trying to learn to run like really easy again <laughs> because I was always kind of stuck in even doing my easy runs like low four minute paces but I think if you really have like a recovery run like the one today yeah. you should be able to even go uh, go slower. Huh? Yeah. actually yeah, for a triathlete recovery day with uh, three sessions still so uh, yeah but now I have the whole afternoon to uh, relax and yeah, prepare for the big weekend so that's good yeah we're gonna join you for a threshold long session tomorrow so looking forward to that Thanks. yeah me too thank you see you tomorrow <laughs> 